Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas. Our ongoing study in Jürgen Moltmann and the Work of Hope, edited by Doug Meeks, professor at uh, Vanderbilt Divinity School in Nashville. We're going to take a look at essay number six on Real Possibilities by Catherine Keller. And we'll look at it in three moments. It'll be pages uh, 77 to 85. Let's begin with block one. Possibilities contribute to energy actualization. Hope as realistic because it takes all possibilities seriously. Apocalypsis does not signify the end of the world. Apocalypsis unveiling of possibilities leads the believer out of nihilism. As we seek to propagate hope. Hope is an act of propagation. We search out real possibilities for the possible real kingdom. Because the doctrine of creation is enjoined with an ethic of ecological responsibility. Creation and eschatology converge. And out of that convergence, hope as praxis emerges. Through an anticipation we perceive the possibilities for change, the possibilities for God's kingdom. Therefore, block one, note three, hope as real and hope as propagated means the anticipatory perceiving of real possibilities. Possibilities accompany every event of becoming. They are grasped as the divine lure, the divine lure or encouragement. Possibilities import energy actualization. From our past through our action of attention. The Exodus Church posits the horizon of expectation to contribute to this energy actualization. Moltmann posited the movement of energy as a synthesis of reformed Reformation theology and liberation theology. The two combined. Political theology is not merely reactionary. It is posited out of prophetic eschatology. As a new exodus. An eschatology of freedom as the apocalyptic unveiling of the kingdom. It's an eschatology of freedom. So theoretically, energy actualization of the spirit, remember spirit moves from dunamis, potentiality, to energy actuality. Energy actualization of the spirit takes place as we participate in an anticipatory way by perceiving the real possibilities in history. Concretely, we need to take a look at Block 2, and the concept of powerlessness and energia. Seems like a contradiction there, but powerlessness and energia. But it does have a scriptural foundation. God is not omnipotent ruler over the world. He is prisoner to the universe, and he is responsible for everything. He is the weakness of God of 1 Corinthians one twenty-five. First Corinthians one twenty five, the weakness of God is stronger than men. And this is God's infinite relation that bears all things in creation. It's relational bearing of all things, relational bearing of all suffering, of all hope. Now under the concept of agency, God relates to all creatures within finite freedom. It's a relation of agential agent type interdependence. We mirror God's image in our freedom of agency. We mirror God's image in our freedom of agency. A cooperative creative 
powerful agency. So Energia does call for participation in the cooperative creative power. It is cooperative creative power. Block 2, Note 3. In the divine openings of dunamis, potentiality of spirit, the self participates through the spirit in the divine latent tendencies of dunamis. That's what Moltmann calls them, latent tendencies. Through the spirit we participate in these latent tendencies moving from dunamis to energy actualization. We have a creative expectation that they will be fulfilled in the power of the spirit. We discern these tendencies as divine openings in history, openings toward the kingdom, mediated through prophetic care, mediated through prophetic care, which is uh, scripture, of course, and the imprint of Christ on our heart. So there's mediation, prophetic care. The cosmic Christ in history awaits our response through the discerned hospitality of the earth. It's an invitation to respond to these latent tendencies. Possibilities are discerned as concrete and as real possibilities. Not merely theoretical ideas, but concrete, real possibilities for kingdom. So we get to a point where now we can kind of summarize where Professor Keller has brought us. And it's a block two, note five. Energy actualization passes through five steps. We affirm God's infinite relation to all of creation. We discern dunamis potentialities in history. Moltmann called those the latency of tendency. We recognize them as divine openings toward kingdom. We call up our motivational base of prophetic care. We couple that with concrete possibilities that are discerned in history to form a praxis sign model. Then we participate through an agent like interdependence with the Holy Spirit, with the direction of the indwelling cosmic Christ. So it's a five step process. It's a dialectic, but uh, it begins with the affirming God's infinite relation to our specific concrete reality. We do discern dunamis potentialities of spirit. Moltmann called them the latency of tendencies. We recognize them as divine openings of the kingdom. We're motivated through prophetic care to define the concrete possibilities that are actually real. Then we put together our praxis sign model for our ministry in the realm of positing. Then we can engage in that agent type interdependence of ministry. So a very good concrete conclusion in block two. Specific five step process in the concrete moment of block two. Theoretically possibilities are perceived as that which uh, opens up the eschatology of our freedom as the apocalyptic unveiling of kingdom. Concretely that gets us involved in a interdependent agent type participation. The agency of the believer in taking up these divine openings. Motivated by that uh, prophetic care of scripture and being imprinted in our heart, our motivational base, by the person of Christ. Therefore, we can take a look now at the conclusion in block three of the actualization, energy actualization of spirit. So, block three, energy and religion. Religion should take up an ecological perspective and ecological urgency on behalf of vulnerable 
populations within the world. Energy is a going out of itself in a freedom lived in solidarity with that vulnerable population. We enter into a solidarity with the vulnerable populations. Our theology is political. It has an alternate cosmology. And uh, that cosmology is Moltmann's Trinitarian cosmology, where everything, all of creation, is in God. All of creation is in the history of the movement of God's kingdom, where kingdom is veiled behind cloudy impossibility, cloudy finitude, but opens onto unforeseen possibility, the latency of tendencies, says Moltmann, and then we can enter into the ministry of praxis and return, that dialectic in block two, note five. We can enter into that dialectic. So there's your conclusion. We conclude with the Trinitarian cosmology, which encloses all of creation within the history of God. Energy actualization takes place within this enclosed creation within God. And it is a dialectic of five steps. Block 2, note 5. We'll hit it again. We affirm God's infinite relation to all of creation that is enclosed within God's being. We discern the dunamis potentialities of spirit in history. Moltmann called those tendencies that are currently latent asking for participation. We recognize them as divine openings toward Christ's kingdom. We are motivated by the prophetic care of the imprint of the person of Christ on our heart and by the scripture of prophecy. We are motivated by prophetic care. We couple that with a discernment of the real concrete possibilities available to us. We form a praxis sign model in the realm of positing through which we interpret the world and participate in ministry. That participation is an agent like interdependence with the Holy Spirit, an agency of interdependence, an agency of interdependence with the co-creative work. We are enjoined with the Holy Spirit in the cosmic, apocalyptic unfolding of God's kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. It is an agency of interdependence. That way, dunamis, potentiality of spirit, moves to energy actualization of spirit. This entire essay is that essay about that movement. It tries to encapsulate and define something that is dy dynamic. And I think that Professor Keller does a good job here of defining that dynamic movement. But it's all about the movement of spirit from dunamis potentiality to energy actuality through a five-step concrete process in Block 2, Note 5. That's your key point in this essay. Block 2, Note 5, the five steps that, that take place dialectically within a creation that is enclosed all in God. All in God. Within a Trinitarian cosmology, cosmology apocalyptically unfolding. God's kingdom is unfolding as a Trinitarian cosmology. It's an apocalyptic unfolding of a Trinitarian cosmological movement of the spirit from dunamis potentiality to energia actualization. That is the core truth of this essay, and it's very well done, uh, to actually have the task of writing about the uh, movement of spirit from dunamis to energia is no small task. 
Professor Keller has done an excellent job here. That's pages 77 to 85. We're going to pick up next time in essay number 7.